Hello and welcome to my ultimate guide on grow fans. Whether you want to grow microgreens, lettuces, herbs, small bushes, potted plants, using hydroponic or aeroponic setups, by the end of this video, you're going to understand the basic science behind why you need fans, how to properly use them, and which ones you could buy for your space. The need, use, and power of a grow fan is often overlooked. Fans are a critical component of any successful grow room because they regulate many important things. The first of which is helping spread fresh CO2 filled air evenly throughout the grow room. Air circulation helps prevent against anaerobic environments where mold can form. Fans also help regulate temperature. It's important to maintain a consistent temperature in the area that your plants are growing in. They can mitigate against hot trapped air at the top of your grow space. Fans also help regulate humidity. Having great airflow coming in, throughout, and eventually out the grow room helps control humidity, which can reduce the risk for mold and mildew. It can also help prevent condensation on plants and surfaces, including the walls and the ceiling, which if it's not kept under control, can pose a risk of growing fungus. The last benefit I wanna tell you about before getting into the fans I use in this grow space is a unique one that you typically wouldn't think about, which is that having fans can mimic the wind in nature, encouraging plants to grow stronger roots and stems, which leads to more vigorous growth and therefore ultimately higher yields. And overall, when you're using fans to control these things, your temperature, your humidity, the airflow, it's going to come full circle and help the plants grow better, making better use of their water, nutrients, and light. All right, now I wanna show you the fans I have tested and currently use in my grow rooms. The first is a small six inch fan. The second is a mid-sized 16 inch fan. And the last is a 24 inch industrial ceiling fan. Now for the small fans, I chose the brand Genesis. First, because it has two levels, a low power and a high power. Secondly, because it comes with many different mounts, one for setting on tables, another for clipping to things. And lastly, because you can get a deal buying these in bulk in packs of six. These fit really well into small grow spaces. These are the fans I use for my microgreen racks. They could also be clipped on tables, which I've done in one of my other grow rooms. Depending on what I'm growing, the two levels are perfect to keep the air moving over my microgreens. Now for this mid-sized 16 inch fan, this obviously is one that sits on the ground. I've used this in my space, which is about 175 square feet. This is what I'd recommend, except that I would get ones that can be mounted to the ceiling, to places on the wall. So most indoor grow rooms are gonna be pretty different from each other. And you have to identify in your space, where does the air naturally wanna move? Where does air get trapped? Where does it get too hot? And this is what you keep in mind when thinking about where you're gonna place your fans. And we're gonna talk more about placement here in a second. In terms of how I was using these mid-sized 16 inch fans, it was mainly to help cool down this side of the room because on the opposite side, I have the microgreen racks which have the small fans and they did a great job over here, as well as to help flush the air down the center of the room to where it's going to leave because I have fresh air coming in which eventually is going to leave on the opposite side. So don't be afraid to experiment. Test the temperatures. Figure it out. See what works best. I've been more than happy with how this works. The oscillating feature is also kind of nice. And again, my only caveat is that in here I found my problem areas were higher up and this was on the ground. And the only reason I'm not gonna use 16 inches in here anymore is because I have this 24 inch, which is a beast. And if I was going to use them, I just get ones that I could mount to the ceiling or the wall so I could have more freedom with where to place them. And now the last is this 24 inch industrial ceiling and wall fan. This fan has three stages and let me tell you, it moves air. Here's stage one.
the lowest setting on this is going to be more than enough for my 175 square foot farm. And the higher settings, I think, are just going to come in as a lifesaver, probably during the hotter months, summer, where more stress is on my AC unit, sometimes it can push it. By having something high powered that's really gonna haul some air is going to make a huge difference. Now, the last two things I wanna leave you with are about your placement and your maintenance. Where you place your fan is going to be important. So look at your grow room. If you can, even get a temperature reader so that you know which areas get hotter or have higher humidity. Those would be areas that you may want to place a fan. Be mindful of hot pockets you could have in the top of your grow space like I have. If you don't cycle that air out, it could cause the overall temperature to rise. It could cause random spikes, increase humidity. So putting a fan higher up to disperse that air and cause greater circulation may be a good place for you to put one. If you're gonna use the small fans on your racks, you don't wanna place the fan blowing strong directly on your plants. I could dry that portion of the tray out. It could make them fall over. Now, secondly, concerning maintenance, Fans will need maintenance, primarily being cleaned. As you can see, this fan is pretty dirty. You do need to maintain the fans. If you let too much dust or dirt build up, one, it's gonna look kind of gross, but two, it could harm the unit and shorten its lifespan, and you don't want that either. So be sure to have good maintenance on your fans. So in the end, grow fans are an essential part of any successful grow room. And when you combine all of this knowledge you are in the perfect place to begin using them and having an awesome growing experience. I have links in the description for all of these fans. If you're thinking about getting one, just ask those questions. How big is my grow space? What size fan should I get? And where are you gonna put them? You know these things, you are ready to take action. And these links are affiliate links, so I do get a kickback if you use them and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if this video gave you value. It really helps out my channel. Subscribe if you want to see more or check out some new videos. And I'll see you in the next one.